This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Today, we are discussing about the Charak Samhita's important chapter, that is Indriya Sthana. Indriya Sthana is a section on assessment of lifespan of patients. So, you know, it is one of the peculiarities of Charak Samhita. No other text or classical text from Bhrahatri have explained about this Indriya Sthana. We will go through one by one. First, we will see its import, importance of this topic. Indriya Sthana deals with the observations of signs predicting lifespan and signs indicative of reduced duration of remaining life. Also, it is called as Arishta Lakshan. Now, Arishta means expected or the normal healthy life symptoms. And Arishta means non-expected signs and symptoms. The word Indriya literally means organ, sense, force, vigor. In the present context, it means prana or vital life force. Chakrapani, the commentator of Charak Samhita, has clarified that Indra means prana and the signs indicating its end are known as Indriya or Rishna. The section of Charak Samhita which possess knowledge about Indriya is named as Indriya Sthana. The Indriya Sthana of Charak Samhita contains the knowledge in 378 verses divided in 12 chapters. So we know that the sequence of uh, Charak Samhita is Sutra Sthana, Nidana Sthana, Vivana Sthana, Chikitsa Sthana, Indriya Sthana, Chikitsa Sthana, Kalpa Sthana, and Siddhi Sthana. Itself, the location of this Indriya Sthana before Chara Chikitsa Sthana is uh, explaining its importance. That before doing any treatment, the physician must undergo that there should not be the sign of Arishta Lakshana, which are explained in Indriya Sthana. Then and then only the, the physician should go for the treatment or management of the disease of the disease work. The seat of Purana in the body is Sneha or Ojas. Indriya, that means sense organs, are said to be the Linga of Purana. An important concept discussed in this section is termed Indriya Dushti. Now, Indriya Dushti means damage to the sensory system. A state of perfect health is a nirvedo varta lakshana. Now, what is a nirvedo varta lakshana? That is life without any indication or perception of being alive. So, that is the important thing here. Before treating any patient, physicians should examine the span of patient's life and the prognosis of the disease. If physician treats an untreatable patient with a wrong assessment, he or she may lose his name, fame, and money also. His strength as a physician is lost in all means. That means you should confirm before treating any patient that there should not be signs of Arishta Lakshana. Charak Samhita, which is one of the prime source of knowledge for science of Ayurveda, has a section called Indriya Sthana, which is specially dedicated to ensure that the physician does not misjudge the condition of his patients. In Indriya Sthana, the knowledge of Arishta Lakshana is divided in 12 chapters. Now see, those Arishta Lakshana that is, which are not expected to be in a healthy body, are classified as Purusha Manashritani and Purusha Samashrayani. This classification is done by Chakrapanida. He had explained that Purusha, Purusha Samashrayani should be ascertained by a careful observation of Prakriti and Vikruti. 
And we know that the speciality of Samhita, Charak Samhita, is Charakas to Chikitsite. Indriya Sthana of Charak Samhita is having its unique feature. No other Brihatrai Grantha has explained about the Indriya Sthana. Now, Indriya Sthana is described after Sharira and before affirming Chikitsa in 12 chapters. So, Rishta is Indriyam Rishtam Lingam. Avyakta linga, unexpressive symptoms, sadhya, sadhaka hit. The main motto of this section is to determine the disease prognosis and to understand the complication of the disease. So one should confirm first the disease prognosis as well as the complications before starting the management of any disease. Now this, this sequence of chapters is in this PPT. Varna Swariyam Indriyam, in which color and speech related Arishtas are explained. Pushpitaka, that is the smell and test are described, they explain. Parimarsha, touch related Arishta. Indriyanika, senses related Arishta. Purvarupa Indriya, that is pre monetary or pre disease symptoms, which are called as the Purvarupa in Ayurveda. Then Katamani Indriya, that is the bad prognosis condition. Then Pannarupiya Indriya, especially eye or pupil related examinations are explained here. In the eighth chapter, that is Avak Shirsiya, in which prognostic symptoms are explained. Yasha Shavanimitya, that is eye examination is explained again. Satyo Maraniya is the tenth chapter. And the symptoms of death are explained here. Then Anujyoti is the 11th chapter in which again eye examination is explained. And the 12th one is the Gomaya Churniya. That is the symptoms of closed death are explained here. You can see here the most of the smells are related with the sensory organs, are related with eye or more chapters. You see, life begins with the association of consciousness or the Atma with the five fundamental elements, that is Prithvi, Aap, Tej, Vayu, Akasha, that are Pancha Mahabhutas, and ends in the dissolution of this association. So since this union that results in a living being is by no means permanent, and since there is always a positivity, possibility of dissolution or the death anytime. Now, Ayurvedic text, emphasize on identifying certain signs and symptoms that could be phobia with some level of certain certainty imminent death. This section is dedicated to such determinant and each structure in the form of 12th chapter. You see, we will see just the quick look of those chapters. Signs and symptoms, here we call it Arishtas of imminent, imminent death can be perceived by specific changes in sensory system. For example, Varna, that is color. Swara means voice or sounds. Gandha, that is smell. Rasa, taste. Sparsha, touch. Along with Chaya, Chaya is complexion of words. Skin, special. And Prabha, that is the radiance, are addressed in those chapters, which are explained here. Now, clinically useful early warning signs have been also mentioned in Purvarupiya India. The chapters like Gomai Churniya, Anujyoti, Katamani Shirasiya, Abak Shirasiya, and Saddo Maraniya, those chapters are give examples of Arishtha that could be perceived on the physical level or are Bahyakarna as well as on the mental, intellectual, and emotional levels. Now see, with reference of shakuna, shakuna is good or bad consequential happenings. We know that the Bharadwaja darshan, or you can see the duta, messenger, swapna, that is dreams, and miscellaneous occult sciences. Now, those evidences laid down in these chapters may establish an Ayurveda-based 
clinical diagnostic methodology actually you see you see that at least 5000 over year old scriptures is there and our chikitsa uh, sthana 17 chapters kalpa sthana 12 chapters and siddhi sthana 12 chapters those are uh, added or re-edited recompiled in the fourth century by the Redavala. the indriya sthana that means was from the agrimesha tantra so 5000 years at least minimum this uh, description of the scripture is there and those all are are the observational findings and they have observed many times and as a evidence they have quoted or drafted in the form of those indriya sthana 12 chapters now, what is the scope and importance of indriya sthana even though all the signs and symptoms cannot be explained by scientific parameters as evident by the references of above paranormal and occult sciences some of these signs and symptoms have been documented and reported as having been experienced by people in various parts of the world in discovery channel also you might have uh, seen such kind of documentaries okay so within the treatise charak samhita physicians are instructed to thoroughly examine the patient for certain signs that indicate terminal illness and investigate using those biomarkers the treatise then advises physician to stop any therapeutic treatment being given to such terminal patients and provide the palliative care instead that is very important these signs and symptoms could serve as important indicators of prognosis of the disease and therefore would be very helpful in the prompt management to save the life of patients you see about every disease sadhya sadhya that means the disease is curable or incurable it's explained in ayurveda and charaka maharshi himself explained that we have to treat only sadhya uh, avastha of the disease and that's why whether it is sadhya or asadhya along with that it's very important to know the arishtas also now guidance about examining the patient we have to see here now see many methods of examination are explained in ayurveda at different occasions we know trivida pariksha we know dashavida pariksha in yoga ratnakar they have put for the ashtavida pariksha so these are this methodology of examining the patient the symptoms of the prognosis to evaluate the expected death time is through the rishta pariksha so this rishta pariksha is also one examining a methodology of ayurveda and it's a peculiarity of ayurveda now this examines the patient for indriya and indriyartha means whether the eyes are catching sight properly or not mana buddhi shuchi then swabhava that is of sharira ahara and achara upasthamba ahara brahma brahmacharya nidra vyadhi that is upaya and apaya nidana pancha thana duta aushada etc now here in this table you can see that the first chapter itself the prakriti and vikruti is explained in indriya sthana first chapter now here the patient we have to consider this tree ashray and anashray means associated with patient some symptoms are there and some symptoms are described which are non-associative with the patient and now this ashraya that is associated uh, symptoms of arishta lakshana we can examine by pratyaksha and anumana praha but non-associative with the patient they we have to examine with aptopadesh like uh, dhuta lakshana zarthyarsa then shakuna that is the good and bad consequences incidences are there so those are only aptopadesh agama pramana we have to uh, learn through it or we have to get knowledge with it now in ashraya or associative we have to see 
prakriti that is the thermographic data and vikriti that is the disease data so six types of prakritis and three types of vikritis are explained in indriya sthana that we are going to see see here the prakriti and vikriti original verses are explained here the prakritis are of six types jati prasakta kula prasakta deshanupatini kalanupatini and vayonipatini along with pratyatma niyata prakriti now jata prasakta prakriti it is explained with the group of characteristics which follow the ethnic group that is the jati a person belongs to it is the racial problem which are constituted in particular zine or particular race like you know mongolia now hiv and this continue affect women in a racial or ethnic minorities and lower socio economical classes disproportionately so these references are important as per jati prasakta prakriti next is kula prasakta prakriti now it implies the prakriti which arises from the particular characteristic of that kula that is lineage or the race of the birth olden days specification of skilled workers mm -hmm. or work group categorized as the caste or the kula and definitely it was along to the occupation what the occupation or the business that person is doing present day occupational disorders like asthma carpal tunnel syndrome carbon monoxide poisoning we have to think according now the next is deshanupatini prakrut which follow the habitat of a person that is the geographical location where a person resides gangadhar rai in his commentary explains it as deshanupatini means depending upon the dasha that is the condition in respect of prosperity or adversity health or disease etc of a person so this gangadhar rai instead of saying deshanupatini desha word he has in the word of dasha that is the condition so desha refers to the country in which the person is born or he or she is living that is geographical considerations now here we have to see the next one is kalanupatini it implies the follows that chakrapani gangadhar rai both have text kala as referring to the great influence of the time such as epochs and large periods such as prata treta dwapar yuga kali yuga men used to live 400 years in the krata yuga 300 years in the treta yuga and 200 years in the dwapar yuga now while in kali yuga it is 100 years kala also means the root as azana and visarga kala kala can also be divided according to the avastha of a person from the treatment point of view now the next one is vayona so what means vaya vaya is age of the person such as infancy childhood adulthood that means balya adi balya tarunya adi avastha now here susceptibility to noise induced hearing loss or age related hearing loss may also the genetically determined as in the case of streptococcal sore throat acute rheumatic fever most of the in children so thus we have to consider the vaya that is age also about any disease now pratyatma niyata prakriti is explaining about the genetic type of prakriti now it is the dosha jo prakriti of a person which governed by the pratyatma niyata has understood we have to understand it as a fundamental that is a genetical physiological constitution which is based upon the gene of an individual 
these individuals have either normal or above average stage owing to the failure of estrogen mediated epiphyseal closure in the pressure of a normal chromosomal constitution so that means the, by birth we have some genotic characters and that we have to examine next one these are the six type of prakriti we have seen now the vikritis are vikriti gangadhar rai commentator great commentator have explained that vikriti is the state which is opposite that is viparita to the prakriti that is the sahaja swarupa viparita vikriti vikriti is the state which is not a normal state and here they are three lakshana nimitta lakshana nimitta and nimitta rupa what is lakshana nimitta it has appeared as the result of purva daihik daiva karma that is the previous birth i have done some karma and accordingly i am having some symptoms then lakshana nimitta it is caused as a result of a hetu sevan that is the positive factors you have gone through it and then the disease is produced so in short we can say it is nidana or positive factor based of disease it appears in the form of lakshana explain for that we are third one is the nimitta rupa now it is produced irrespective of any cause and still is a sign of a high star now, irrespective of any cause either it is not a lakshana nimitta or lakshana nimitta there is no specific reason behind the utpatti of this vikra suddenly without any purva not associated with purva deha karma or not in this deha karma is a separate one now chakrapani has explained about this third one nimitta rupa in two categories first he have explained preta lingana rupa and the second one is preta lingana rupa so the first one indicates about the imminent date second one indicates the immediate date. so little difference is there next one is the chapter wise we will go those indriya sthana the first one is varna swara indriya adhyaya now in this name only of the chapter of indriya sthana you can see varna and swara indriya what indriya means we have already seen now varna is about the complexion and swara is your voice characteristics so by observing those varna and swara certain arishtas that is the disease or the fatal signs and symptoms are described so list of all pariksha bhavas are given first two types of bhav that is purusha samashritani and purusha samashyani so here prakriti and vikriti which we have just seen these are described six types of prakriti three types of vikriti after that the characteristics of the prakriti and vikriti rupa that is the varna are described then the prakriti and vikriti shabda that is the swara that is described so first of all prakriti and vikriti rupa that is varna is explained now what is varna varna we have to see here it is the complexion complexion of your skin so you can see this is the pratyek with pratyaksha pramana by seeing observing the patient we can notice whether it is of krishna shama shama avadat avadat or these are the prakriti varna and vikrita varna are the nila shava tamra harita shukla and accordingly we have to see some observations we have to note some observations and accordingly we can uh, predict the or we can judge the prognosis of the disease now those specially the visible parts mainly we have to observe 
नख नयन वदन मूत्र पुरीश हस्त पाद ओष्ठ दैट इज द नेल्स आईज देन युअर माउथ देन युरीन स्टूल देन हैंड्स लेग्स लिप्स एटसेट्रा वी हैव टू सी Now about swaradhikara also, the normal and abnormal voice are explained here. A hamsa, kramcha, these are the name of some birds, and they are normal one. And the abnormal one are also explained according. So this is about the four. That is the varna and swara are explained proper. After that, the second chapter is pushpitakam indriyam adhyam. In this chapter, the relation between arita and the pushpa, that is the flowers, are described. Now, the flower we specially smell it properly. That is the gandha pariksha. You see, the gandha or the smell related arita are explained here, as well rasa related means taste related arita are also explained, and it is elaborated with the types of gandha and rasa vikriti also. The third one is the parimarshaniya indriya adhyam. In this chapter, the sparsha related, touch related, and the swasta related aristas are explained. Especially, manya, danta, pakshma, netra, kesha, loma, udara, nakha, anguli related aristas are explained here. Manya means the neck, danta, you know the teeth. Pakshma, the eyelashes, netra, eyes, kesha, that is the hairs, loma, skin hairs, udara is abdomen, again nakha are the nails, anguli, the fingers. So those are all the pratyaksha pramana activities. And these are very helpful as a clinical to mention or to establish the clinical prognosis of particular that patient. The fourth chapter is Indriyanika in Indriya. So in this Indriyanika Indriya Dhyaya, Arista related with Indriya Gyana. So what is the Indriya and Rugna? Indriyas of Rugna are explained here. See, for example, Viruddha Darshana related Arista. Viruddha Shabda related Arista. Darshana means sight. Now, if we see, the color is, for example, red. But that patient or that person is not seeing it is as a red. Exactly opposite color. Instead of white, he or she is seeing it as a black. And the black is seen as white. Like that's the contrast, opposite uh, sense perception is there about eyes. Then about Shabda means about hearing or about ears also. Viruddha Shabda means the person is speaking good words, but the person may feel bad words like that. Again, the third one is the Gandha. It's all five sensory organs related. Arishtas are explained. Rasana, that is the test related. Sparsha, that is the touch related. And it is explained that if there is an increase in the power of the Indriyas without performing any yogic practice, it is said to be as an Arish. Usually, the person is not able to hear a, a very low frequency voices. But even though then, the person is able to hear the low frequency voices also, that is the abnormality. And we should feel it as the Arish. We should quote it as an Arish. The fifth one is Purva Rupiyam Indriya. Now, in this chapter, Arishta Lakshana with Purva Rupiyam. That is the pre-monetary signs or pre-symptoms, Purvaru, especially of Jwara, that is fever, Yakshma, tuberculosis, Rakta Pitta, that is the, we can say, epistaxis, for example, Ulma, Pushta, skin diseases, Prameha, for example, diabetes, Ulmada, Basmara, psychological problems, and Bahirayama Roga, those all this is related, Purvarupa related Arishtas are explained in this chapter. According to the Swapna Avastha, that is the sleep, and also according to the Deha Avastha of the person, 
the symptoms are explained in this chapter. So, Arista related Swapna, that is which dream that person is seeing, accordingly also we can feel it is whether it is Arista, that is the healthy one, or Arista, that is the bad prognosis is there. Now, seven types of Swapnas are explained. Drishta, Shruta, Anubhuta, Prarthita, Kalpita, Bhavita, Doshaja. Now, this sleep index of that health is also explained. Drishta is uh, here now the normal seven types of it. And whether those Swapna or the few dreams are normal or abnormal, you have to see. Drishta, the person has somewhere seen it. Shruta, somewhere that person has heard about it and the same thing is he is seeing. Now, this is a normal scenario. Okay. Anubhuta, that is the person have experienced previous. Prarthita is that person who is uh, eager to have that thing. That is the Prarthita. Is expecting that I should be like that. I should have that thing. Like Kalpita is like only you know, uh, poetry writer imagine something and that things are seen in the dreams that is the kalpita bhavita is according to the emotions and the dosha javan is more important dosha javan is that vata is increased pitta increase and kapha is increased in that body particular and accordingly the person has dreams okay so in prakriti chapter you might have already seen this things doshaja that is the vata prakriti person pitta prakriti person and kapha prakriti person have certain kind of a particular brain now the sixth one is katamani shariram indriya adhyan now this one is Okay, one conference will now be recorded. Now the sixth chapter is Katibani Shariram Indriya. Especially in this chapter, the patients who should not be treated that are clearly explained. Now those aristas that are specially explained about the atisara that is the we can say dysentery hikka that is hiccup chwara that is fever kasa coughing shotha that is the swelling especially those five diseases are covered in this chapter okay so the next one is that specially arista lakshana irrespective of the vadis are it's also explained general we can see in this chapter the seventh one is panna rupiya indriya adhyaya now uh, most of the students are joined and uh, i would like to request that i am sharing this video also in future so whatever the part you have missed that you can uh, see through that my recording also okay so we will go to the panna rupiya indriya now here the panna is the chaya, prati chaya and prapa. Actually, those all three things are related especially with the complexion of your skin. And related with that, the arishtas are explained. Now, in uh, your examination, especially sometimes the short notes are also you know, uh, usually asked about you know, chaya, prati chaya similarities, differences like that. Now the five types of chayas are explained. That is according to the Pancha Mahabhuta. Nabasi, Vayaviya, Agneya, Abhasi, and Parthiva. 
seven types of prabha are explained they are according to the color rakta pita dita dayav that is shabha and harita pandu and asita asita means non white that is the opposite one krishna that is the black now shwasa murcha netra and ringa related arishtas are also given in this chapter kala maryada has been explained in many lakshan now this particular this symptom is there then the person will uh, will live only for three months like that the kala maryada is explained here now what is chaya chaya is a complex complex especially the chaya and varna are associate of the prabha that is the luminaries now what is the prabha you have seen the picture of god god or god goddess in hinduism so the aura is there behind no? around the head that is the luminaries or prabha now luminaries is dependent on agni mahabhut pancha mahabhuta interpretation or attribution in ayurveda is a fundamental expression here now what is it akash vayu tej jal and prithvi those pancha mahabhuta accordingly the chaya varna and prabha are expected here now in this lecture we are just seeing the recap of all those chapters this uh, and next to that we will see the separate chapter as now the eighth chapter is avak shirsi in this chapter specially prati chaya shira kesha netra nasika danta jiva the arista is related with especially those things are explained especially kala maryada having different time in rugna and nirogi purusha are also explained in this chapter many manasik arista that is lakshanas are explained next one is yashta shavani mitya indriya that is the ninth one netra related aristas are specially explained here and they are with yakshma vatavyadi apasnara vyadi kushta udara gulma mainly those and the arista lakshanas are generalized irrespective of the vyadi nida that means not only with the particular disease but the some other diseases are also covered in this chapter it is explained that he insisted for chikitsa by the relative of the patient having arista lakshana the physician should give mounsa rasa etc kalpana to the patient having arista lakshana now in spite of about treatment for one month if the patient does not recover then it is confirmed that he will not live anymore so those we can see the observational things are explained now that is our duty to connect it with today's era 10th one is sadya maraniyam indriya adhyaya so in this chapter specially adishta lakshana indicative immediate death are explained chakrapani dadda the commentator of chark samhita has explained that the patients having those lakshanas explained in this chapter will die either in 3 days or 7 days means 3 to 7 days life span is explained and this is that's why that the name of this chapter is tadya maraniyam indriya a group of 17 such as lakshanas is explained in this chapter and these are very we can say fatal signs immediate death is there within 3 to 7 days that's why this chapter satya maraniyam indriyam chapter is important now the 11 one is anujyotiyam indriya adhyayam what is it arista lakshana with the time limit of one year of the death to occur are explained six months for the death are occur are explained in this chapter one month and one month to one year so here you can say from one month to one year that much span is explained now those all signs are important for a physician because if those signs are there 
you should give an idea to the close relative and then you can uh, treat such patients otherwise you should not go in it why we are going to see the 12th one is gomaya churniyam indriya madhya that is gomaya churna is the dry cow dung powder and the persons appear in like that a person who have a dust resembling cow dung on his head will die in a month now see this powdery deposits on the skin especially the base urea uric acid salt due to excretion of nitrogenous compounds in the sweat seen in severe idiopathy the complex of symptoms due to severe persisting renal failure that can be reduced by the dialysis if not patient will die now see here we have some more symptoms also so one month and half month are given here based on the messenger that is given based on in auspicious marks occurring in the brain while the physician is going to see the patient in auspicious marks on the home of the patient are ideas with the shield somebody aristas are also explained this chapter so see when the death of a patient is certain the physical sorry the physician should not tell it directly to the patient he should not tell it in such a relative of a patient on whom going to have a bad effect it is the close relative is okay but that close relative is too much sensitive then that will be also a problematic that person whether the boy or the girl or the man or the woman may go to the hypovolemic shock also. so you should know the, whom to tell us lakshana of good messages shubhadu subhadravya are explained those are indicative of patient's good prognosis also so this is a very in the 12th chapter that is a shubhaduta lakshana and shubhadravya are also explained now see the, this is the abstract of the indriya sthan the disease should be treated only if it is curable and the physician should not know the signs should know sorry the signs that indicate incurability of the disease means the disease which is not curable and the arista lakshana is there you are not supposed to treat at all it as like we have seen in the introduction that the uh, location of indriya sthana is before chikitsa sthana and that's why in the, after learning indriya sthana you are supposed to do the chikitsa or the treatment of the disease and this indriya sthana is the peculiarity of charaka samhita and charaka chikitsa no other grantray means the shushrut samhita or the sangraha or rudhaya have explained this indriya sthana that's why indriya sthana is important in charaka samhita it is placed before charaka samhita we have seen the chronologically and the physician should must know before going actual management of the disease physician who treats the asadhya or the incurable vyadhi disease that will lose wealth knowledge fame and the number of patients and will get a bad reputation in the society maybe he or she will get other punishment as per the law of that particular country the physician has always been known as the most important among the chikitsa chatushkara and for him thorough knowledge is very important if he or she is not having a thorough knowledge then he or she may not be successful in his or her clinical practice thus he should in all aspects know the chikitsa or do the chikitsa then and then only if he or she is having a knowledge of arista lakshan okay the indriya sthana is the best part of ayurveda literature many of people say that it it should be outdated no it is not outdated we have to develop our knowledge observation accordingly definitely literature reviews are available but we should go for the case studies research also which contains all the above discussed knowledge thus it is very important for physician to 
study the Indian star. In today's world, medical field is also there in the hold of legal boundaries. And in that way also, we should know, the clinician should know, guess the prognosis of the patient depending upon his symptom. Indriya Sthana is very helpful for the medical level aspect also. Now the key message for this today's lecture that is the Indriya Sthana is an authentic, scientific, relevant Aktopadesha or Agama Pramada. And hence, we should do more study instead of making it outdated. And for the students, it make you no know, out of syllabus or they drop that content. And for your information, this chapter in Charak Purvanda is having 10 marks weightage. It is very important to know that Prakriti and Vikruti before studying the Aristotle. Though the Aristotle Lakshanas are not examined by the modern parameters, still they are found in the patients and are quite significant. Indriya Sthana has its major role in the field of clinical practice as well as its important by medical legal aspect also. So this was about the today's lecture. And if you have questions, please ask about them.